when I open up an instance of the V-Series EQ, um, you'll really start to notice what a, uh, a 1066 or 1073 sounds like, especially when you start to drive it into distortion. And I've got the filter set flat to where all I'm doing is driving the gain stage. And right now I'm about a dB over zero. And as I start to get ridiculous with it, it starts to get crunchy and warm. We're about 8 dB over zero right now. You're not hearing any clipping. And that's the way it's designed to be. Um, another product in the V-Series line is the V-Series compressor, which is modeled after the 2254 bus compressor. Kind of a unicorn, really hard to come by. Super expensive. Um, so basically, it's just a good, creamy sounding bus compressor where you can either have limiting on or off. And you can also dial in any kind of uh, percentage of the analog functionality. When I'm referring to the analog functionality, I'm talking about the original noise that's inherent to the hardware. Because, for example, if you're wanting the compressor characteristics to be present, but you don't want it to sound like it's running through an old hissy piece of hardware, for example, for like some minimalist recording or classical music, but you really want that compressor sound, you can just simply turn off the analog functionality and then you get none of the hiss, but you get all the behavior. Now, for most like rock and roll band recordings and for most other applications, really, other than minimalist or classical, you're going to want the analog characteristic because that's generally what drove you to the product in the first place. Um, just trying to keep it straight and simple. Um, the well, now, you said something about your um, when you peek in here, it works like analog peaking, not like digital peaking. Is that true? Right. Somehow, the... Uh, the guys who, who do all of our R&D have managed to recreate like the harmonic distortion that's present in these hardware pieces when you drive them into distortion. So like when you're looking at a piece of equipment like a, 1070, or a 1066 or a 1073, part of the luster and the love of those things is like when you put a bass through it, right. set the shelves and the filters just right and start cranking up some gain, it sounds beautiful and you're getting this harmonic analog distortion that nobody's been able to recreate so far. And we got it, we got it nailed, and we've got it nailed in three different signatures, API, V-Series, and SSL, and there's definitely more coming. That's awesome, that's really, really exciting. It really works. So, right now, I've got almost five dB of headroom, and I'm just gonna start crushing it. We're already over. Now we're significantly over. So I don't like sense